So today I've been making a video um, about setting Dolby Atmos up on Windows 10. Um, even with the Creators Fall update, this still doesn't work that great. And although this is an amazing system, if you're like watching Blu-rays and you know Netflix and anything else, um, setting up Dolby Atmos is an absolute pain on a PC. And although I've managed to get this working, unfortunately I had to do this with quite a clever workaround. So if you've decided to get Dolby Atmos on your system, um, you may struggle to actually get this thing to detect. Now, as you can see here, the output has actually detected the Dolby Atmos home theater system. Now, not to be confused with the Dolby Atmos for headphones, um, unless that everything is working correctly, you will not see this. Now, bearing in mind that if you're planning on using this via optical output or anything else, this only supports HDMI. Um, you can't use HDMI pass-through because that only supports HDMI 1.4. Um, you'll need to use like a, a native connection. And I ended up, even though this particular receiver supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision pass-throughs, um, I never ended up using them because they simply wouldn't work without any lag. So one of the things you can do is um, actually repurpose your um, motherboard um, because your motherboard will have its own HDMI output on it. Now, even though I have a, a 1070 GTX, um, I actually ended up using the onboard um, motherboard uh, HDMI output. So that basically makes the motherboard into a HDMI sound card, uh, which then allows you to then support all of the um, Dolby Atmos. So that's um, a bit of an annoying workaround. Um, honestly, if you do end up investing in one of these systems, I do recommend trying that. Um, I enabled all of the features, even though they're massively hidden and you know not very well documented by Yamaha. And um, I actually found that you know this works quite well. There are some niggles. You end up with you know a second screen effectively, but you know for the most part it's uh, you know a nice system, and um, you know it works really well. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that where I have this uh, decoder off, um, most of the time this will be set to PCM. So if you see PCM, so if you're watching um, you know, a movie or whatever else, if it says PCM, then you're not um, decoding the surround sound. And let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. So um, I wanted to show you what the, um, the Dolby kind of enabled functionality looks like. So for now, I'm just gonna play the Dolby Atmos um, demonstration, which you can download from the Windows Store. Um, I've actually muted this for you know copyright reasons. So you'll notice here that it's kicked in and now says Dolby Digital. So basically you wanna see almost anything else other than PCM. And you know that means that this is now working in surround sound and you know, the quality is, you know, absolutely amazing. Even on regular terrestrial TV coming up your satellite, you know, normal broadcast TV, this stuff sounds absolutely amazing. Um, one of the other things that I do recommend, for example, are one of these speakers. Um, these particular front speakers um, actually have the um, upright um, part of the speaker so built in, so as part of the Atmos system, you can get um, either ceiling speakers or in this case, um, you can get speakers which sit on the front of your speakers and which will basically project the sound off of your ceiling. So you can either get those as an add-on or in this particular model, actually get them built in. So that's actually two speakers. Um, annoyingly, um, you'll notice that I'm kind of propping them up at the moment because I haven't found a TV stand long enough to accommodate everything. So bear that in mind if you have a large TV and you don't want to wall mount it, you may have some difficulties finding some, you know, you know, a good quality TV stand and um, that will fit all your stuff on it. So I kind of just wanted to tell everybody about these, you know, these two things. Um, you know, it does sound amazing and it's definitely worth the investment, but 
you know, be prepared to have some frustrations, particularly, you know, this is all new technology. Um, only a handful of, um, you know, movie players on Windows 10 will actually even support um, decoding on this guy. So uh, it definitely works. Um, and this is, you know, a, a video to demonstrate how you know you set it up correctly. Um, you know, if you see your system saying it's only, you know, outputting 2.1 surround sound, then you know you've definitely got a problem. So with these two workarounds, um, you know, you can definitely get your Dolby Atmos, you know, experience up and running.